Hi, Adam here, and today we're going to go over the brand new 2024 American Coach, American Patriot FD2, and all of the upgrades that they have for this year. Now, they have some huge upgrades, both with the interior, some with the exterior, then a lot of it is the power generation that they have. So there's some huge upgrades. Uh, I'm gonna go review the upgrades first, and then we'll go over and, and we'll look at them. Upgrade one is all about the power systems. You have uh, 1,080 amp hours of uh, lithium ion batteries. That's a huge upgrade from the previous 600. Uh, they received some complaints over the past three years when they had the previous uh, layout, which was that the, the, the batteries didn't last as long as people would like. So now they got them independently tested. And they tested it and they found out that this coach can run off of the batteries, off of the solar, for on average 11 hours, which is huge. That's a lot longer than it could do before. Huge upgrade. Upgrade two, regarding the power system, is the alternator. It's got a second alternator in there now, so now the alternator doesn't just do the coach battery or the chassis battery, now it does the coach batteries too. And so when the engine's on, it's actually charging those lithium ion batteries. Huge upgrade there. Uh, upgrade three rega regarding the power system is that the batteries are now enclosed in the unit. I just had a guy here talk to me about the batteries and how uh, he, his are in for service because the solenoids are messed up because those batteries got all the grime in there from the roads and then the sol solenoids got messed up and now he's got to get the service done. So you're not going to have the same issue here. Let's go on. Let's take a look at those batteries while we're, while we're talking about them. Uh, so if you go under here and look, you can see... Uh, that you have this case to enclose all the batteries. You can see that you don't see any batteries there at all. And now let's gonna quickly go over to the next one just to, just to compare the two. If you go over here and look at how this 2023 was, you can see that, boom, you can see the batteries right there. They're all exposed, exposed to all of the elements. So that's good for two things. One, keeping all the grime out. And then the other thing it's good for is, uh, is, is winter protection, so keeping them warm. So if they're more enclosed in the coach, you're gonna have a better time with keeping them warm. So that's, that's the primary upgrade. On top of that, you got uh, upgraded wheels. On top of that, you've got upgraded interior. On top of that, you have some stuff mounted on the roof, which I'll show you now that we're doing the outside first anyhow. Uh, if you step back, you'll be able to see those two things that look like fins on the roof right here. Uh, one and two, those are upgraded vents. Whether you're a black tank and your gray tank, you're gonna wanna vent them out. And so it actually turns to face, I'll just go ahead and show you. It actually turns to face the wind so that, uh, so when you're driving, it'll face this way and the air will be able to come in and actively vent out what you got going on there. So a uh, very good upgraded vent system there. Uh, you can see the upgraded wheels over here, the Mercedes-Benz wheels. Uh, so that's huge. Every, everyone's going to know that you're driving a Mercedes-Benz. Since we're on the back side, we'll go over the utilities real quick as well. So the utilities are the same, but they're good to go over again. So what you have here, the huge thing that you have here is the macerator pump. And so all of your, your, your black and gray, everything comes out of here. And then it gets chopped up with the macerator and pumped out. And so that's going to be so much easier than a black tank flush. That's going to be so much easier than, you know, stepping on the toilet to make it go. You got the outdoor shower. Uh, you got the valves for the black and gray are all electric here. You can retract your reel there. So that's a power reel. You got your city or fresh water that goes in right through here as well. And then you got your, your black and your gray tank flushes there too. So, and it's all enclosed in this nice little area. So nobody has to see all of that junk as you're going down the road. Really super sleek look that they have here. Uh, you have your 30 amp supply right there. So if you are hooked up to shore power, you have that too. Uh, going around the back, it's going to be very similar. One of the big upgrades for the 2024s, all wheel drive. All the Mercedes now are coming in all wheel drive. That's one of those things that like, I have a lot of people coming in here looking at vans and they're all confused as to why they're all not coming in all wheel drive. We've had these few coaches over here sitting for a long time. The vast majority of buyers who would have bought them would buy them if they were all wheel drive. You have that now. Um, American Coach, obviously this one has the Freedom Package. That's, got that, that's why it has that 1,080 hours of lithium ion batteries. That Freedom Package makes it so that you can have be fully powered wherever you go. Okay, so you got nice big awning above still and we'll, we'll head right on the coach. This is a nice Arctic white color. Um, really stands out. Um, and then you also have this screen here and this screen is a huge upgrade from like, let's say the Ford Transit American Patriots don't have this. 
Um, that just is a really residential style of uh, keeping the insects out. Um, and so instead of that mess screen, which you kind of got to fight getting in, uh, just a really nice touch there. Without further ado, let's hit the inside of the, of the coach here. Let's see if we can both fit. I'm gonna head right to the back so that you can, uh, the cameraman can get in here too. And so, uh, similar thing in the back to what you've been seeing, you have the couch here with that diamond stitching leather. And it's a very nice, very comfortable sort of feel. So whether you are uh, just riding in the coach, whether you're eating dinner, whether you're sitting in your living area, or whether you're sleeping, this is your area. And it can do all of those things really, really well. And so sitting riding, I feel like I'm sitting in a, you know, a high class train or something like that. Like this is a very comfortable riding experience. I have the TV right here in case I want to be entertained. I have the speaker system over here as well. Um, and then also this goes down electronically. Uh, you have um, a, a, a Firefly sort of system here, which makes it so that you can uh, control your, your unit right from back here. So this is how you recline that sofa and turn it into your bed. And so boom, that's how you recline it. And so you can either have it as a two twin option or you can fill in the middle and do a, uh, a king-ish. It's not a perfect king, but it's, it's pretty close. Uh, also over here, you can fix all of your lights and everything like that, accent lights, reading lights. Let's just, let's just turn all the lights on. Yeah, why not? Um, so this is the sleeping and you can see I'm six foot two. So it's important to see that uh, I, can, I can sleep here. You know, like this would be a comfortable sleeping environment for me. Uh, I also have, I'm looking up, I'm seeing speakers above here too. So if you're trying to go to sleep with some nice uh, relaxing music, you have that surround sound, it's just gonna be beating through your veins. You know, it's gonna be a really nice experience for you. Uh, I'm gonna put this back up. Uh, you have USB ports here and you have uh, plugs all throughout, which you can, which you can use uh, just right off of that lithium battery, which is huge. Um, other things that you can see from this spot is the AC. The AC can be powered right off of the lithium ion batteries, which is amazing. It's a 12 volt AC and that can last up to 11 hours off of the lithium ion batteries alone. You can see how much storage there is. Storage, 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 storage is so important in these units um, because they're, they're not big, honestly. Like that's, not, that's, why we, that's why we love them because they're not big, but they need to make wise use of storage because if you don't use that, then you're, then you're out of luck. You're, going to, you're not gonna be able to bring everything that you need. Also, lots of good storage space underneath here too. Uh, you can see there's already some stuff there. Um, and so your bigger, bulkier items will go down there. This is going to be your spot for your lagoon table. So it's gonna go on there. It's gonna to swivel to wherever you need it to be. So you can easily um, have three people eating in that spot at the same time. Continuing down on the coach, uh, you have your max air vent um, controls here. So right above you right now is where the max air, fan, uh, max air fan is. And so that's gonna do a great job removing uh, humidity from the coach, removing smells, smoke from the coach, and also just creating great cross ventilation. You have your microwave over here. And so you got uh, your popcorn function, which is huge, very important when you're camping. Everybody loves the popcorn. Uh, and then you got your true induction uh, stove top there and everything is all flat. And so it creates a nice prep area as well. And then you have your sink. Uh, right there too, so a, a nice sink. Um, underneath here you have some some other kitchen items, which is your refrigerator right here. So that refrigerator is gonna be a good size for you. There's a little freezer that flips out too. And then you have your drawers, which stick really well. Um, and then they got the assist to them as well. And then you spot for your sponges and things too. Uh, and then we'll go into the bathroom, which is really super important. Excuse me, cameraman, Mr. My Friend Guy. Um, so you just gotta, yep, just take that open. And then one of the big things with the upgrade for the bathroom is that you actually have a teak um, shower stand, we'll call it. Uh, so you, you go in here, again, I'm six foot two, and so uh, how I would do this is I would sit here uh, and you know do what I gotta do. There's plenty of space for me to shut it, as you can see, and I still feel totally comfortable. Uh, and then the, the, uh, the last thing is the shower, and so I could easily close that and then use this and I'm showering sitting down and it's great. So in the unit of this size, I can even get in the shower and shower comfortably, which is huge. I'll close this up and uh, we'll go over some of the driving stuff up front. Maybe we'll head out so we can go in through over there. So sitting in the front, you feel very comfortable. Uh, they, Mercedes has, uh, the American coach has this seat that can extend out right here. So taller people can feel like myself can feel a little bit more comfortable with actually some pads and cushion underneath the legs. Very comfortable there. Uh, Mercedes has a bigger um, screen display uh, this time around. 
And so uh, all those safety features that Mercedes has, uh, whether it's navigation or, um, or all the cameras, there's, there's cameras all around this coach, um, everything is a, has a really, really big and attractive touchscreen display. Brand new for the 2024, we have this touchscreen down here as well. I don't know if you could see that. Yep. So you could actually turn the lights on and off, uh, the internet, the inverter, uh, everything on the coach. You can you can control even the climate. You can the, uh, the air conditioner you can set from up front. So you don't have to run to the back in order to access all these things. Uh, again, another reason why people love the Mercedes is all of those driving assist features, adaptive cruise control, things like that. On the front here, you have all these controls, um, and a lot of it is like um, that cruise control, the adaptive cruise control, which is huge. And then you can control some of the controls uh, right from your steering wheel there. You have power seats, which is which is great. Um, whether it's lumbar support, moving it back or forward, things like that. On top of that, these seats definitely do swivel. Uh, so you can swivel them around if need be and uh, join the party in the back. Um, the visibility is fantastic with all the Mercedes. And so since the, the nose slopes down, uh, you have great uh, view. And so uh, you, you feel very comfortable and unconfined when you're driving down the road. This has the Mercedes Blue Tech engine. And so very powerful engine and very smooth. When it turns on, it has this nice little, little low rumbling, which is gonna feel, it just feels really nice to be driving this thing. I love driving these. Um, and then uh, the other thing about the um, driving, it's just really nice, you know. You can see that they add even the stitching to the above here, and they, they add this nice leatherette just everywhere. So you feel like you're having a first class experience. So we can head out real quick. With the electric door, of course. Um, so that's about everything for the uh, 2024 American Coach, American Patriot. Some of the huge upgrades are with the power system, with the um, upgraded uh, second alternator, the inverter, the uh, 1,080 out amp hours of lithium ion batteries, uh, and four is the enclosed batteries. It has an upgraded vent system, it has upgraded wheels, uh, and then additionally has that Firefly in the front of the coach, uh, and also a brand new interior color. So uh, those are the primary upgrades. Oh, and of course the all-wheel drive. Those are the primary upgrades for the 2024 American Coach American Patriot. Uh, let me know what questions you have about this unit or anything else in the comment section below. Feel free to like uh, and subscribe to this, this page uh, and also uh, click the notification bell. What is that? Uh, if you want to get uh, notification, no notified when I come out with more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.